Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and just to be on the safe side, hello, it's Lynn from the Learn English Network here. Um, it's been another week, so let's crack on and see what's been happening in live chat. And we'll start with, um, well, here's a confession, actually. I'm having to use live chat on Internet Explorer because it's gone a bit squirrely on Chrome. And having looked into it, if you're having problems getting any of the discuss chats going on Chrome, it might be because of some kind of um, application you have installed on Chrome, in which case go into incognito mode um, or just use a different browser. OK, so um, we'll start off with Lucky, who said hi, which is um, actually H.I. Lucky, capital H, of course. Uh, Hong Min said, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, can you be my chat friend? Which was really nice, Hong. A little bit of work there. Uh, hi, comma, space. Then you can put nice to meet you, full stop. Can you be my chat friend? And then put your question mark right after the D. Uh, Pity Pity came along and replied to Hung and said, Hi Hung Min, would you speak English with me? So uh, Pity Pity, uh, hi, capital H, Hung Min, capital H, capital M, because it's a name. And then maybe a full stop. Uh, could you speak English with me? Capital E for English. Or would you like to speak English with me? Still capital E for English, though. Um, lucky carried on saying anyone chat with me so um anyone is one word lucky uh with is w-i-t-h and it's a question mark question so you need a question mark um and i would write it would anyone like to chat with me okay so if you're trying to get people to chat with you try and develop a few phrases that will make them think yeah okay this sounds good i'll chat with this person Anu came along and said, hi, ay, 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 lucky, um, Anu, just one I, capital H. Uh, Aditya said, hi, ay, Anu, okay, so capital H, one I, and Anu with a capital A, full stop. I said, hi, Anu and lucky. Uh, Anu said, hi, teacher, how are you? So, again, capital H, Anu, and then full stop after teacher, how are you, capital H, because it's a new question mark, okay, a new question. Um, I replied, I'm fine, thanks. I'm afraid you missed live chat, so the chance of getting a quick answer will be a bit hit or miss. <laughs> Hung came along and said, hi, everyone. I'm a new member, well in Vnees. I want to improve my English skills by chatting with a friend in English. Someone, please. OK, so, Hung, hi, everyone. Then, capital I, I'm a new member, comma, well, I'm Vietnamese, capital I, and Vietnamese, V I E T. N A M E S E V no I think that's right. <laughs> um, and then you've got your full stop perfectly there. Then a space. Yeah, each new sentence starts with a space before it. I want to improve my English capital E uh, by chatting with a friend in English capital E. And then I'd put in a full stop and I'd say anyone please with a question mark if you want to turn it into a question. I wrote hi home. Hong didn't want to speak to me. Erin said hi. Erin, capital H, like I wrote underneath your post. I said hi, Erin. Ahmed said hello. I said hi. Capital H, Ahmed. Ahmed said, I am new to this application. Well, welcome. And uh, capital I, though, and a full stop. And I said, well, have fun. It's like a chat room. Aditya came along and said, hi, everyone. I'm from India. In fact, I am from India. <laughs> so, capital H, small i, everyone, full, that's perfect, full stop. I'm, capital I, apostrophe M, from India, with a capital I, and a full stop. Hi, Aditya, said Erin. Uh, Erin, capital H, capital A for Aditya, because it's the name. And I went, hello, Aditya. Adib said, hi, everyone. I said, hello, Adib. And again, capital H, full stop. Hi, ma'am, said Arjun, capital H, Mom. Mm. Okay, if you're trying to say mom, not ma'am, um, you would say M A apostrophe A M, which is short for madam, but really it's really old fashioned. You made me feel ever so old, Arjun. I went, How are you, Arjun? Um, Yogita came along and said, Good evening. My name is Yogita. I'm from Lithuania and I'm looking for a person who wants to correspond with me, anyone. Very good post, Yogita. Um, and just one little thing the I am in the middle. I is always. I, as in the first person, me, I, is always capital I. So you need a capital, capital I, apostrophe M. I'm looking for person. I just say someone. S-O-M-E-N-O-N-E. -E, okay, S-O-M-E-O-N-E, -E, someone. Who wants to correspond with me. 
Um, anyone? Question mark. Yeah, that's fine. That's OK. A bit short, but that's fine. Hi, Yogita, I said. By correspond, you mean write to? Are you looking for a pen pal? And Yogita said, well, my target is to learn English, so I'm looking for pen pals. <laughs> so capital W, um, learn English, capital E. Uh, so I'm capital I looking for pen pals. Uh, Ming said, oh, may I? And Arjun said, hi, Yoritha. Would you like to have conversation with me? So um, if you're going to correspond with somebody, uh, Yoritha would not get there because you're Gita. J-U-R-G-I-T-A, and it's right there in front of you. So it just shows you've taken care and attention to sort of get their name right. <laughs> um, would you like to converse with me or would you like to have a conversation with me? One question mark is plenty, Arjun. Um, Arjun also said, is anyone out there for a conversation? And the reason I said out there is it's one word, but it's not, it's two words. So is anyone out there? Um, who would like to have a conversation with me would be better. Hi, Arjun, said Zeb. May I ask you what SVS stands for? Ah, because his name's Arjun Zvz. <laughs> I'm not sure at all, Zeb. Fabrice? 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 Yeah, came along and said, hi. Uh, that would be capital H. And hello, everybody. Capital H again, and a full stop after everybody. Zeb came in and went, morning. <laughs> and I went, hello, Fabrice. And Erin said, hi. Erin, capital H, you're nearly getting there. Um, then Diego come along, came along and said, hey, everybody. Hey is a little bit, I've said before, it's a bit too, hey, you, watch out. So hi is better, or hello, everybody. No need for an exclamation mark. Yeah, just a full stop would do. I'm Brazil. Mm, no, <laughs> you can't be a country. I'm sorry. I mean, I apologise if you are Brazil, but I doubt you are. I'm Brazilian. OK, um, so when you're the sort of native of a country, you don't become that country. You need to learn the adjectives for different um, nationalities. There's stuff on the Internet all over. There's also stuff on the network that explains nationalities with flags and languages and the countries altogether okay brazilian b-r-a-z-i-l-i-a-n so i'm brazilian and i would like to improve my english capital e with someone from different countries okay i'd say with people from different countries or someone from a different country okay and again no need to have that exclamation mark anyone here question mark perfect Alice said, uh, I want to learn and practice English. Now, I don't think that's our Alice. This is an Alice Chandy. So I, capital I, Alice, uh, want to learn and practice my English, I would put, with a capital E, full stop. Khan came along and said, I want to learn English too, and I hope we learn English together. OK, capital I, Khan. I want to learn English too, or I would like to learn English too, if you want to have that nice, polite British form. I would like to learn English too. And then a comma, if you want to have and. And I, capital I, hope we can learn English, capital E, together. Hi, Diego, said Soliman. And I said, hi, Diego. One day we will have at least one person here every second of the day. That only needs 86,400 people. And with a population of 7 billion, that must be doable. <laughs> Zeb then said, this would mean that English conquered planet Earth. I'll not let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Too late, Seb. I said, resistance is futile. You will be conversed. <laughs> pity, pity said, hi, I don't speak English very well, but I'm studying for that. Would you speak English with me? Um, so, pity, pity, hi, capital H. I can't speak English very well, with a capital E for English, comma, but I am studying, S-T-U-D-Y-I-N-G, um, and I just put a full stop there. Would capital W, would you like to speak English, capital E, with me? Um, Pity Pity then said hello, and Zeb said, ha ha, I feel trapped now, I can't answer this. Erin um, said, hi Diego, I am from India. So, capital H for your highs, Erin. Uh, and then just one comma, then a space, I am from, F-R-O-M, India. But well done, you capitalised Diego's name and the name of the country, India. Pity Pity, sorry, I didn't see your message. Sometimes live chat goes on at such a pace um, that I don't see replies to messages. So sorry about that. I will reply now. So I've just written, hi, pity, pity. 
all our sessions are free, so come along to one of them. Just follow the instructions. Don't forget, I am available to talk to people, just not one-on-one. I know everybody wants private English conversations with me. It's just not going to happen unless you're lucky enough. Like today, there were only three people in live chat on, on Skype. They had my individual attention. Only one of them wanted to actually do anything, so he got most of the <laughs> he got most of the most of the um, benefit out of it. Oh, I hope it was a benefit. Who knows? Anyhow, Pawan Pratap came along and said, "Hey, so Pawan, capital H, look how Zeb wrote hi to you. That's how you should write it back." Nal said, "I'm having problem when start when start talking English, my my." Because I have no confidence at all and I have bad pronunciation skill. Lack of vocabulary as well. Esp when having presentation. Some tips, anyone? So now, here's some tips, okay? Um, when you're, instead of saying I'm having problem, just say I have a problem whenever I start speaking English. Full stop. Capital E for English. Maybe, M-A-Y-B-E, because I have no confidence. C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-C-E. Uh, and I have bad pronunciation skills and a lack of vocabulary, especially E-S-P-E-C-I-A-L-L-Y. If you want to do especially as a sort of short form, you need a full stop. When giving a presentation and then full stop, then space, some, capital S, some tips, anyone? Which is fine, you can write that kind of a question. Zeb's reply was... Personally, I've increased my confidence after joining voice activities for learners. After some time, it became easier for me to take the floor and my fear of speaking vanished. I can vouch for that. <laughs> Nal said, a YCTQ for sharing. Lucky to be like you. Well, it's not luck, Nal. It was a lot of hard work and uh, overcoming nerves, I can assure you. Um, so, OIC, yes, I know what you mean. So, OH, capital I, S double E. <laughs> Full stop. Thank you, T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U, for sharing. Full stop. Now, you could say, rather than saying lucky to be like you, it sounds a little bit jealous. I wish I could be more like you. Okay? Um, Zeb said, you can do the same. You just need to be a little bit braver. Nothing more. I'm still learning, Val said now, but a little bit slow to improve. Home. (laughs) Okay. So, capital I, I'm still learning, comma, Um, but I'm a little slow in improving. Um, I wrote, quite often people expect to make the same progress they did when they started learning. Unfortunately, it starts to slow down as the complications kick in. You will make progress, but try to think of it as steady instead of slow. Yes, I do, said Nal, but still have no point to talk about. Everything in mind cannot be explained as I want. You get my point, right? Ah, Nal, um, you should hear me trying to explain myself and uh, tell people how I feel in German. I go back down to sort of being about five years old. It's frustrating, but you have to just keep going. Do the best you can with the words you've got. Learn new words. Keep improving. It's a long process learning a language, okay? Don't let the Learn English in 31 Days blurb kid you, okay? It's a long process, honest. Anyhow, I've just replied, you should hear me trying to explain myself in German. The thing is not to give up. Work with what you've got and keep building up your confidence and your vocabulary. Solomon said, hi, I want to chat. So capital H, capital I, full stop. Hi, nobody there, Solomon said. Uh, Looks like it, Solomon. (laughs) I don't know what time that was, but never mind. It's the luck of the draw. Damis said, hi, anybody there to chat? So capital H and then uh, maybe a comma. Um, Hi, Damis said Khan. Damis didn't reply. So, yeah, guys, if you don't reply, you won't get people chatting. So capital H, Khan and a full stop. Pity Pity said, hello. Hello, I have need to speak English. Um, So capital H. I need to speak English. I have need? No, I need to. Hello, is there someone? Pity Pity said. So, hello, is anyone there? Is what I'd say there. Pity Pity. And just one question mark. Im here, said Sidhu. Sidhu, I'm. Capital I, apostrophe M here, full stop. And I said, hi, Sidhu, and Pity Pity, but no, no reply. Pity Pity also said, there is anyone for speak with me. Um, is there anyone to speak with me? Capital I. Khan said, I'm here. Hello, pity, pity. Oh, no, you put put, pitu, pity. (laughs) So, capital I, Khan. um, And a full stop after pity, pity. And Amatsu said, hello, pity, pity. I'm around for half an hour or so. Uh, Mahmoud said, yes, I am here. Capital Y. 
and then a capital I. That's a very strange I you've got there. Okay, I'm not sure if it's a capital or not. Hmm, interesting. Zeb then said, as you didn't use the reply button to answer Amatsu, I fear that she hasn't seen your message. Said, um, and that's very important, using that reply button. I'm going to put in a little, um, I don't know if it'll be a video or just a presentation on how to use Discuss, especially during our live chat session. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be before I go on holiday or when I come back, but I am working on it, okay? It's especially for... Um, <laughs> for Mike. Hi, Mike. Mohammed came along and said, um, but came back and said, and you, where are you now? Um, so, um, so Mohammed, I think if you'd kept that as one sentence, that would have been quite good. Yes, I'm here, comma, and you, where are you now? Question mark. That would have been okay. But anyway, and Matsu said, hi, Mohammed, I'm here. Are you there? <laughs> that was that. Ellie said, hey, what Ellie? So Ellie, uh, capital H and an I rather than hey. Uh, hi, said Sidhu, capital H, Sidhu, full stop. Ajar said, hey, can talk with me on Gmail. This is my idea. Oh, dear, here we go again. Hello, Ellie, how are you? So capital E, Ajar, how are you with a question mark? Khan said, hello, Ellie, capital H, Khan. Okay. Ajar said, hello, everyone. Yesterday I saw Hercules movie. It's a fantastic movie. I enjoyed a lot. So hello, everyone. One word and try to get rid of the little dots everywhere. They make your writing look very scrappy and not easy to read. So hello everyone, comma. Yesterday I saw the movie Hercules, full stop. It's a fantastic movie, uh, comma. I enjoyed it a lot, full stop. And I said, what was good about it, Ajar? I'm a bit wary of Hollywood doing Greek culture. I never found out from Ajar whether it was any good or not. Has anybody else seen it? Um, I've heard about it and I watched, was it The Immortals the other day? That wasn't too bad actually, um, but it was, it got slated on IMDb, but I actually quite enjoyed it. Although it was the TV version, I've got a feeling that the film that you see at the cinema is a lot more violent because um, the TV version was. I think it must have been, reading the comments on IMDb, it must have been tamed down. Um, I think the TV cut, well, it was all right. OK, Ravi said, hi, everybody. I, uh, hi, everybody, exclamation mark and a comma. Way, you got punctuation fever. <laughs> so, hi, everybody with a small e, comma. Uh, then I, I joined just now, full stop. I am a fan of Jade Joddle. Anyone else is a fan of Jade? Please connect with me on Skype. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not likely, but really, you never know if you find some fans of Jade Joddle. Anyhow, I had to put my hand up and say, um, I've never heard of Jade Joddle. Who is she? Um, Ravi said, British accent teacher. Can check on below link. OK, so British. Uh, she is a teacher of British accents. Well, if she's a British accent teacher, I'd say she's more a speech therapist, OK? Um, or she teaches British accents. I mean, which one? <laughs> Sorry, I'm digressing. It just blows my mind when I hear, she teaches British accent. Probably receive pronunciation if I know British accent teachers. Uh, can check on link below. You can check her out on the below link. I wrote, is that what you aspire to, Ravi? And Ravi said, yeah, to become an effective speaker. OK, so capital T and a full stop. And I said, do you need a British accent to be an effective speaker? And I, Ravi hasn't replied. Ravi, come on, reply. I was only teasing a little bit. Guys, if you want a British accent, go for it. Why not? Personally, I really regret it if you all came to talk to me saying, Good morning, Mrs. Hand. How do you do? <laughs> I'd hate it, but that's just me. Elio, uh, let's see. Alam Brook came along and said, hello, how are you? I recognise you and the addition of Facebook friends and talk to them to improve the language. I didn't even know what to reply to that. And you didn't come back, Alama, so I have no idea. Uh, but you could say, hello, how are you? Question mark. I recognise you and the addition of Facebook friends and talk to them to improve the language. That bit really threw me. You recognise me from where? <laughs> it's a cartoon. I don't use my real face. I've got it on Google if you want to see what I look like. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Anyhow, Iliani Sissy came along and said, hello, everyone. Just a full stop there. Sandhani came along and said, hello, capital H. Mohammed Abdi came along and said, hello, everybody. My name is Mohammed Abdi. And uh, that was really good. Well done, Mohammed. 
Uh, you just need to get rid of the little three dots. Just a full stop. That's all you need. These three dots mean I've got something more to say and I can't be bothered. So just a full stop. Uh, Ali Irani came along and said, Hi, how do you do Mohammed? Okay, Mohammed with a capital M, otherwise perfect. And believe it or not, even though it's not really a question, we still put a question mark after how do you do. I know it's not fair, but I always say for every rule, there's an exception. Uh, Mohammed then said, Did anybody told me what code it's this class? Okay, um, and again, I got a little bit confused here, but I replied, Code? Class? The main rule is be kind. You're not in a classroom here, though. <laughs> so, Mohammed, could anybody tell me what the code for this class is? That might be what you wanted to say. I really don't know, though. I mean, if anybody's giving out that there's a code needed or anything like that, then you're in the wrong place. <laughs> this is not a classroom. You're not at school. We're not a college or university or any kind of institution. We're just a not-for-profit who want to help you to learn English. OK, <laughs> anyhow, um, oh, Seps, I'm not sure how to say that one, said, hello, everyone. I'm Se Oh, hello, Sergey. Sergey came along and said, hello, everyone. I'm Sergey. So, hello, capital H, comma, everyone. Uh, so, hello, everyone, comma, I'm, capital I, Sergey, capital S, full stop. Hi, Sergey, I said. Hi, teacher. When we'll start classes? I'm getting very confused now. I'm getting worried, actually. So, hi, teacher, comma, when will we start the class, question mark. I wrote, it's all on the calendar, but we don't do classes, just sessions. The closest you will come to a class during our sessions is in the drama session on Monday or the Let's Talk About It session on Wednesday. They are both held in Second Life. If you mean voice sessions, check the calendar. If you mean the lessons, we'll be on holiday in a week, so you'd better get started. Okay, there are lessons, um, and you can join them at any time and stop and start and stop and start. Nobody to tell you what to do, but they're on the learnenglishonline.org website, okay? And it uses Discuss the same as live chat, um, and you do get word-for-word -word corrections there. And there are lessons behind each of the questions I ask. But that's about as classroomy as we get, OK? Um, Maddie came along and said, Hi, I need to listen to some interviews as how to answer an interview or Viva. Pools be helpful. Ooh, I'm not sure how helpful I was able to be, Maddie. So, hi, I need to listen to some interviews. It's always to listen to, um, comma, uh, on how to answer during an interview or Viva, full stop. Please, P-L-E-A-S-E, -E, be helpful, full stop. I wrote, I don't know of any recordings online, but you can do a lot to prepare yourself. Here are some tips. And I pointed you at the Leicester University website, which gives lots of tips on Viva. Uh, thank, thanks for, link, for the link, but let me be precise. That's a very good idea. OK, thanks, T-H-A-N-K-S, for the link, comma, one comma, but let me be precise. And then I put in a semicolon. That's like a comma with a dot above it. Listening to a question at first time is a prob. OK, listening to a question for the first time is a problem for me. P-R-O-B-L-E-M, comma. Uh, and I wouldn't say like I had an interview. That sounds a little bit too much like one of the young princes um, of England. Like, <laughs> so, for example, I had an interview um, which didn't go well. I would, in fact, I'd say I had an interview that didn't go well. D-I-D-N apostrophe T. Uh, and I was rejected full stop. That is something that bothers me, full stop. How can I be more quick in listening and giving answers with confidence and without hesitating? So how can I, with capital H, how can I be quicker listening and giving answers with confidence and without hesitation, full stop. I know it's long, but helping with this will be highly appreciated. You can send me a link if you have. Thanks a lot in advance. So um, I know it's a long process. I think that's what you were trying to say. IT apostrophe S comma. But helping me with this would be highly appreciated. Full stop. You can send me a link if you have one. Full stop. Thanks. T-H-A-N-K-S. A lot. A space L-O-T in advance. Full stop. I replied that comes with practice. How much time do you actually spend speaking? Do you spend actually speaking English? Uh, Maddie said, I'm a sci teacher in a school. So I'm I apostrophe M, a science teacher at in a school. That'd be fine, actually. Full stop. I have to talk in English with students as well as teachers and English with a capital E uh, comma. So just one comma. So it is around six to seven hours, I guess, every day. So that's two words, every space day. 
uh, comma, and I talk to my friends also in English. Okay, and I also talk to my friends in English. F R I E N D S and capital E. Full, uh, comma, but my probs are with interviews. Okay, but my problems are during interviews. Problems, P R O B L E M S. Full stop. Okay, because that's a very long sentence by now, so full stop. Um, you say I sometimes. I just put sometimes, S O M E T I M E S. I don't get the question, not quest, question, Q U E S T I O N, comma, or they are, or are they fast enough to ask? Okay, um, or I'm not fast enough in answering, is that what you meant? Full stop, or is it a listening prob? Should I take listening classes? Um, do I have a listening problem? Should I take listening classes? <sighs> Without talking to you, that would be impossible to say whether you're, it's your listening or whether it's your um, ability to just concentrate when you're under stress. Uh, have a listen to some of the live chats. Let me know how you get on. Anyhow, I replied, do you have any problems understanding students and colleagues? And Maddie said, no, not at all. I guess it's only with interviews and vivas that get on my nerves. OK, uh, no, not at all, full stop. I guess it's... IT apostrophe S, only interviews and vivas that make me nervous. If you get on someone's nerves, you annoy them, okay? So that make me nervous, full stop. So I write, well, they may get on your nerves, but it sounds to me, oh, look, I'm going to have to, it should be, but it sounds to me, <clears throat> I didn't really do that, yeah. Thank goodness for the edit button. But it sounds to me as if they make you nervous. I suggest you try role playing and maybe see if there's anyone who can train with you to help you calm your nerves. There's a video here and I pointed you to a video about how to do this. Perhaps some of these tips will help. And I pointed you to another website. So I hope you get on OK, Muddy. Um, you are more than welcome to come to some of our spoken sessions, but they are in groups. It does sound to me like you might need more intensive one on one coaching. OK, it's not learning, it's coaching. So maybe see if you can find um, there are loads of people look at people per hour, um, loads of people who offer to help. I'm afraid you have to pay them, but to help with that kind of thing. OK, uh, but as it's your career, you know, you might have to fork out a bit of money. Anyhow, Shabnam came along and said, Hi, my name is Rose. Uh, I've just joined group. I need your help for learning English well. OK, hi, my name is Rose. I've just joined the group. Full stop. I need your help uh, in learning English as well. Oh, I see. Well, you mean as in to do it properly. OK, <laughs> full stop. What do you do at the moment, I said. Shabnam said, I'm learning French and English. I have an interview in 10 days, so I should be prepared. Yeah, I'm not sure what I can do to help you with that. I mean, um, the, the Learn English Network tends to be a long-term thing, not a, I've got an interview next week or I've got a test next week. Um, we can help you and you'll be glad you've come to us when you do have an English test next week or when you do have a conversation next week, but you'll need to have contacted us a little bit, little bit further back, OK? Um, if you think... Joining any of our sessions will help you. Be warned, I'm on holiday from Friday. Be free, feel free to come along and just have a go at uh, conversational English. Um, and you can even ask for a topic on the forum. But as I'm on holiday next week, I just hope. Uh, cross my fingers for you, OK? Milton came along and said, Hi, I need to improve my English. Uh, so... After the comma, after hi, a space, and capital I, need to improve my English, capital E, full stop. Hi, Milton, what do you feel needs improving most? Milton didn't come back. Hey, help me, please. Oh, no, did come back, said, hey, help me, please. Hmm. Um, please isn't pulls. It's P-L-E-A-S-E, OK? Uh, B Emo said, hi, is there anybody? So, Emo, Emu, Emu, <laughs> Bimu. <laughs> hi, capital H, comma, is anybody there? question mark. Majed said, hello, capital H, Majed, full stop. How are you, everybody? Capital H again. Is there anybody? Uh, I would say, is there anybody there? Question mark with a capital I. And Ali replied and said hi, but you didn't reply to him. So with a capital H. Ali said, is someone there to talk? Um, I would just say, would anyone like to chat? OK. Um, and I replied, hi, Ali. Oh, dear. Just an hour later and you could have talked with Majed. Majid said, hi, everyone. How are you? 
So capital H again on the hi and the how are you with a question mark after the you. Uh, and everyone is one word, my shit. So hi everyone, full stop or comma. And um, if there is anyone want to speak English with me to improve our English language. So uh, is there anyone who wants to speak English with me to improve our English and then a question mark. I replied, hello Majid, if no one contacted you, try joining our TGIF session on Skype. You will need to join the forum and follow the instructions there, but don't worry, it's all free. Uh, Pamela said, hi. So Pamela, capital H for hi. And I said, hello. Uh, XP said, hi, capital H. And Lacan said, hi, capital H. Uh, Gabrielle came along, said, hi. Um, capital H, Gabrielle. Then I need to improve my knowledges in English. So, knowledge is uncountable. It is as vast as the universe, so you can't count it. So, I need to improve my English knowledge, I would say. Um, if you want to help me, I'll thank you. Okay, capital I, if you want to help me, I'll be very thankful. I mean, I'll thank you, goes without saying. If somebody helps you, you'll thank, you, you'll thank them. But I'd, I'd say I'll be very thankful. Another hand, if you want to learn Spanish, I could help you. So, not another hand, I'd say on the other hand... Comma, if you want to learn Spanish with a capital S, I could help you. Full stop. OK, and just one full stop. Um, I replied, hi, Gabrielle. I would love to learn Spanish if I weren't so wrapped up in learning German and struggling, I should have mentioned. Don't worry, said Gabrielle. We could work slow the Spanish classes. Meanwhile, you could help me improving my English level. And when you have time, could say me to begin your Spanish class, class, class classes. <laughs> So don't worry with a capital D. We could work slowly um, with Spanish classes, capital S. Meanwhile, one word, you could help me to improve my English, capital E. And when you have the time, you could tell me to start your Spanish classes, C-L-A-S-S-E-S. -S -S. That's a really nice offer, Gabrielle. Um, I'm going to reply to you now. And I've written, please feel free to join any of our sessions. I'll be away for a few weeks, but as long as I survive the holiday, I'll be back in September. As I've said before, I mean, I'd love to do one-on-one -on -one sessions, but I can't. All the sessions are in the calendar and anybody is free to join any of the sessions on any of the platforms. There are a few things you have to do before you join us, but it's all free. Um, Aladdin said, hi, Gabrielle, how can we do this? What do you think? Um, oh, in fact, Aladdin, you said how we can do this. It would be how can we do this? Uh, Gabriel, actually, maybe it's Gabriel. Sorry, Gabriel. Gabriel then said, thank you. Well, you could tell me usual expressions. Um, teach me how understanding I listen or read. OK, let's take that for starters. Thank you. Capital T. And then you can put in well um, with a capital W. It's more, more spoken English, but you can still say it. Well, comma. You could... Um, tell me some, or oh, you could teach me some common expressions. We don't usually say usual expressions, we'd say common expressions. And teach me how to understand what I listen or read. Okay. Um, then Gabriel went on to say, I think could be through chat or Skype. Okay. This could be through, without the T on the end, chat or Skype, capital S. This way you could identify my mistakes to correct them and I ask you when I don't understand. OK, uh, capital T. This way you could identify my mistakes and correct them and I'll ask you when I don't understand. OK, then went on to say the same way I can teach you you want to know about Spanish. OK, in the same way, with a capital I, I can teach you what you want to know about Spanish, capital S. Sentences, synonyms. S-Y-N-O-N-Y-M-S antonyms idiomatic expressions such as pay, pay less, anything someone can't do full stop OK, that sounds like a good plan, Gabriel and I hope it works out let me know um, if you need any sort of extra help running any software or anything that's absolutely fine um, Prakash came along and said hi Pamela Sheba said hi so Prakash, capital H, one I Pamela with a capital P, full stop um, Sheba said hi, I said hi, uh, Shankar said hi, capital H, I, full stop, Kara said hi, capital H, I, full stop, I said hello, Zerb came along, said hi everyone, so capital H, Zerb, I thought you'd have got that one by now, full stop, hi Zerb, long time no see, yes, said Zerb, <laughs> hi Zerb, how are you today, said uh, Aladdin, ah oh, Zerb, come and say hello to Ad Aladdin, Rajesh says hi, capital H, small I, 
full stop. Hello, said Adnia. You need a full stop, Adnia. And I said hello. So have a look at how I replied. And that's pretty much how you should have written it. OK. Um, Duk came along and said, hi, everyone. How can I how can improve speaking skill? So hi, capital H. How can I with a capital H for how can I improve my speaking skills? Hello, Duk said Aladdin. You can do it by speaking with other people. <laughs> Sorry, Alad. Aladdin. And yeah, Duck said, I, you don't have any foreign friend to talk with. Hey, who's foreign, Duck? OK, so I, capital I, don't have any foreign friends to talk with. Uh, Aladdin said, currently you have us. Welcome to LEN session. Here is the link for calendar events. OK, so currently you have us. Perfect. Um, welcome to the LEN sessions. Yeah, with an S, because there's more than one. Uh, here is the link to the calendar. Full stop and gave the link. Thank you, Aladdin. Uh, Mohab came along and said, hey, I, st I still don't know what I'm supposed to do in the, li in the live chat. Oh, don't do to join the live chat. OK, Mohammed, capital H, hi. Then capital I, I still don't know what I'm, capital I, supposed to do to join live, L-I-V-E, chat. OK, the live chat, we don't chat about life. <laughs> the universe and everything. It's 42, by the way, the answer. OK, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to join live chat. Full stop. Live chat is on now, Mohab, I said. Live chat on Discuss takes place on Tuesday morning, my time. I don't think you have a confirmed account, though, as your post is appearing under pending for moderation. So to make the most of the experience, confirm your email address in Discuss. The live chat recording corrections are done on Tuesdays too, and we try to include all the comments left here, which will include yours. You can listen to previous recordings on our YouTube channels. We just moved to a new channel. OK. Um, Yaya came along and said, hi. So capital H, small I, and a full stop. Hi, Yaya. I said, have you read Aladdin's post? Oh, Aladdin. I think I was having a really bad day when I was typing this. Or maybe it could be I was on my tablet. Um, have you read Aladdin's post? That should have said. Aladdin said, I think he doesn't. OK, Aladdin, here's your chance to use the um, present perfect. I don't think he has, as in he hasn't read it yet. <laughs> OK, <laughs> I wrote exactly. Anyhow, Chu came along and said, hello, Yaha, Yaya. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Very good, Chu. Just a capital H at the beginning and then it would have been perfect. Rajesh said he... When he tried to join discussion, seen a message, hold on, this is waiting to be approved by Learn English Free. So, um, hi, capital H, full stop. When I, capital I, try to join a discussion, I see a message. And then you'd put a comma and then open quotes. Hold on, this is waiting to be approved by Learn English Free. And then close quotes and a full stop. And I replied, that means you don't have a recognised discuss account. Everything goes into a moderation queue until you confirm your account. It's simply to try and keep everything on track. Um, how to join this discussion, said Rajesh. I said, hi, Rajesh, you just did. Anyhow, Kanupriya came along and said, the live chat starts only on Tuesday. Um, OK, starts only on Tuesday. I'd, I'd say, um, is live chat only on Tuesday? And capital T for the name of a day. Um, or does live chat only take place on Tuesday? OK, and then you just need a question mark. No dot, dot, dot needed. I replied, yes, I'm afraid so. It's a matter of time. I mean, if there are any English teachers out there or native English speakers who are confident enough, um, do join into live chat. And, um, you yeah, know, I'm quite happy to support you if you want to take part. I can't pay you, but I can support you. <laughs> Atala said, hi, are you there? Um, so capital H, Atala, and the question mark. I said, hi, Atala, live chat is on now. OK, Gabriel, Gabriel said, anyone like talking with me? So uh, would anyone like to talk with me would be better. I'm sure lots of people do, I said. <laughs> so if you'd said, uh, would anyone like to talk with me? I would have replied, I'm sure lots of people would. OK, <laughs> so... There you go. Anyhow, Aladdin came along, favourite post of the week, this. Is there any possible way to set minimum number numbers letters for posts to force members to write uh, instead of hi to hi, hi, hi? <laughs> OK, so is there any way to set a minimum number of letters for posting, comma, to force members to write 
um, to write hi, hi, hi instead of hi. And I wrote, lol, well, you could ask, discuss. <laughs> That's not within my programming capabilities, Aladdin. But if you ever program something for uh, English learners, then do put in a minimum number of characters. But you'll be amazed how people can get past that. Anyhow, if people want to just say hi, that's fine. It might just be a case of lack of confidence or they've been on lots of different things and never got a reply. OK, it's it can happen. Or well, they might just be being mischievous. But if that's how mischievous they want to be, it's fine. Um, Neela said, hello, I want to improve my English fluency. Could you please help me? Oh, very good post, Neela. I said, hi, Neela. What do you do to improve at the moment? OK, I'm waiting for your reply, Neela. <laughs> Mike said hello um, and you need a full stop there Mike and Zeb said hi Mike are you around especially today for meeting the teacher <laughs> oh you used the t word Zeb how could you I wrote hi Zeb and Zeb said hello Lynn I'm happy to be back chatting online I wouldn't have minded staying a bit longer enjoying the sun in the southeast part of France though um, I'd say the south eastern part okay or the southeast of France um it did sound delightful i have to say there pictures photos anywhere and i replied son what's that blue skies said zeb 33 degrees and back in paris with a light tan these sort of things ring a bell <laughs> ring a bell i wrote a distant memory but one i hope to refresh in a few days just rubbing it in zeb uh fingers crossed for you and for me said zeb i'll also be on holiday early september spain i'm coming yay i wonder if spain's ready for you brilliant i said i'm having to try to learn to be as pleasing croatian i sound like a klingon and i'm not going to read it out to you guys i'm going to try it out on croatians first i might do it after i come back from holiday have you already ta tasted croatian beers asked zeb i replied no the germans are very mean about stocking foreign beer i know i don't like that word foreign who's a foreigner nowadays we're all on the internet one happy planet um zeb then said uh, one more reason to travel a lot i need to go back on some work bye for now okay i need to go back and get on with some work okay to get on some work makes it sound like you're waiting for it to hatch and you're sitting on the nest <laughs> Um, bye, nice chatting with you, I replied. Uh, Zeb then said, you'll probably sound like a Klingon for the locals. One more thing, don't try, just do it. But there's no real need to tell you this. Smile. Absolutely, I'm going to try. I'm just going to do it. and Murder their language. I don't think they'll be, help they'll be thankful to me. Mike said, I still have problems joining this live chat. So, Mike, you could have said, I'm still having problems joining live chat. And I replied, what problem? I can see you. And Zeb said, I can see you too, Mike. So we're a bit uncertain about what went on there. Um, I wrote LEN live chat um, and Zeb wrote, wow, just on time. You don't know how close it was, Zeb. I looked up, I saw the clock and I was like, whoa, live chat ran through into the office. <laughs> I was having a bit of a lazy morning thinking about what to pack for my holidays. Did I mention I'm going on holiday, everybody? There will be no live chat recordings. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do what I don't normally do. and I'm going to record the next few comments. OK, so don't expect this every week. Mike said, what's in your opinion the best way to learn phrasal verbs? So in your opinion, I would have said, Mike, what is the best way to learn phrasal verbs? I wrote, once you find them, use them in meaningful contexts. Uh, Mike said, the problem is I cannot create context offhand. I can re recognise some phrasal verbs, but active using is quite a different thing. So I can recognise some phrasal verbs, comma, but using them actively is quite a different thing. I replied, that just implies you aren't having enough natural conversations. Recognition is a good start, though. This is the book I used to use to teach phrasal verbs. I know Zeb won't like it, but I did used to stand in front of a class full of people with a piece of chalk in my hand. And I gave a link to the um, the book and I put there is an advanced edition, too. Um, <laughs> I love this. Besides, said Mike, they are so polysimus. That makes it even more difficult to learn. Mike, if you can wor learn words like polysimus, then there's no fear of phrasal verbs. Yes, they have lots of different meanings, but really um, it's about getting a feel for them. And that comes with using them, honestly, and getting feedback and using them again, getting feedback. And feedback, remember, can be uh, as much as just somebody looking confused at you. It means I didn't understand what you just said, which means you have to work on what you just said. OK, feedback comes in many different ways, not just what I give. Um, Zeb said, 
And I think it was about use them in meaningful context. Seb said, this works better with slang and swear words than phrasal verbs. I wonder why. And I replied, I'm always amazed at how happy people are when they learn a new swear word and how easy it is for them to remember it. Um, Zeb then said, when my Aussie visitor Bill and I interacted with a few French locals in English at a cafe, they were stunned that I was using swear words to interact with Bill. But after a couple of hours, they were all doing the same and fluently. It was real good fun. I would say it was really good fun, but I know that's Australian. It was real good fun. Um, Back in time, when you were eight or ten, it's good to forget to grow up. Okay. Um, It was really good fun. It took me back to the time when I was eight or ten. It's good to forget to grow up. Or it's good to forget we have grown up, maybe. And Varun said, may I join you people? I'm new here and looking for practising English. Yes, of course you can, Varun. Uh, May I join you? That's very polite. So capital M and I with a capital I. And I wouldn't just say, may I join you people? Just may I join you? Uh, Capital I, I am new here and looking to practise my English. Full stop. Um, Zeb replied to Mike and said, the best strategy is for me not to especially learn them. I've noticed that I tend to imitate the way people speak, which includes phrasal verbs. Yeah, absolutely. Having natural conversations and picking up on them in use. That's how most native speakers learned. We didn't buy a book on phrasal verbs. That said, you can already read. You know you want to concentrate on them. So getting a book is not a bad idea. But then use what you've learned. Use it, use it, use it or lose it, lose it, lose it. (laughs) Varun said, hi, anyone here to talk? So Varun, capital H. Uh, Hi, Varun, said Seb. It seems like you popped in just when Tuesday's live chat ended. Ah, that's always the case. Don't forget, though, it goes on half an hour later. It carries on to Skype for an hour at least. In fact, today it was an hour and a half. So there's always live chat on Skype as well. Uh, Miko said, how do you learn English language? So Miko, capital H, how do you learn English? Question mark. Uh, practicing every day, said Seb, and with as much interaction as possible. Yep, that's what it boils down to. Uh, Ming came along with a sad tale. There is something to share. So I have something to share. It's job thing. It's a job thing. Today, I got an English telephone visiting from an Irish engineering procurement management and construction company, which Brant's office is operating in Shanghai, China. So today I had a visit from an English um I got an English telephone visiting. I'm not sure what that means, actually. Maybe it's today I got an English call from an Irish engineering procurement management and construction company who's, uh, who will operate in Shanghai, China. The recruiter provided a job opportunity of electrical engineer position to support one huge fa- facility construction project at the suburb of Shanghai, which is run by a leading diversified international entertainment and media enterprise to build a land for consumers entertainment and shopping. OK, so the recruiter offered me a job opportunity um, for electrical engineer position to support a huge facility um, to support a huge construction project in the suburb of Shanghai, uh, which is being run by a leading diversified comma international comma entertainment and media enterprise with a S at the end, not a not a C. That's price prize uh, to build um, on land for a for an entertainment and shopping complex. Okay, I was frozen. I think you could say that I froze. You know, I almost can't speak English. Okay, you know, I almost couldn't speak, although I understood, but what shall I say? Okay, although I understood, but what could I say? I just remember I said a lot of I'm sorry. Okay, I can only remember I said a lot of I'm sorries uh, and got nothing information about the position. Okay, and got no information about the position. At last, I refused the position. In the end, I refused. That's it. I'm so depressed. My poor spoken English. I learn English and I love English, but I can't communicate with English. It's sad. So I learn English, comma, and I love English, but I can't communicate in English. It's sad. OK, I I'm, I'm really feel for you, Ming. Um, but, you know, you, you need to practice exactly that then. You need to practice with friends, with family, with faculty. I replied, does your faculty provide you with the chance to role play interviews, etc.? I freeze during interviews. It's natural if you're shy, but you need to overcome it if you really, really want that job. Um, sometimes, I mean, I'm not sure if they just phoned you out of the blooming, uh, in which case, you know, don't worry about it. If they want you, they'll come back for you. If they really want you, you can, you can approach them when you're feeling more confident, okay? So if they're approaching you like that, they'll 
forgive you any nervousness, really. Um, Amatsu said, never mind Ming, keep practicing here, use all the opportunities you can. And that means some of the, the spoken voice sessions. I know they're not always on at the right time, but if you get on to other uh, platforms like Google+, Plus, there are other um, places where, which allow you to practice your spoken English. It's not just with me, remember. It's not just the, the Learn English Network. Okay, And if you're feeling really, really, really... Um, as if you want to start at the beginning, Amatsu is going to start new Google Plus discussions every week for beginners. OK, so they'll take it very slowly and take it from right from the beginning. OK, anyhow, Mi Zeb said, hi, Ming. Yes, this is a bit sad, but at the same time, it's a learning experience. Love that. Love that, Zeb. Any clue what you will do next time something similar happens? Exactly. Use it as a learning experience and use it to realise, I don't want that to happen again. I'm going to do something about it. Minush said, hi, everyone. And Amatsu said, hello. And Zeb said, hi. Zeb said, when you... Oh, sorry. Varun said, so when live chat start? So, Varun, you'd say, so when does live chat start? Um, and capital S... And Zeb replied, when you look at the calendar, it says that it's on Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. here and 11.30 a.m. on Skype. <laughs> Baron said, now where is calendar? So, uh, where, capital W, is the calendar? And that's uh, C-A-L-E-N-D-A-R. Okay. Amatsu said, here you are, Varun. You obviously need to explore some more. And Zeb said, it seems to me that you haven't explored much of the website. Ah, that, that would be, it seems to me that you haven't explored the website much. Anyway, here you are. So you've got two, like, two links to the calendar, Varun. <laughs> thanks a lot, dude. But what's your name? Okay, so Varun, then you'd say thanks a lot. So thanks, T-H-A-N-K-S, a lot, A space L-O-T. Dude, really? <laughs> You're trying to upset Zeb. Just thanks a lot would be okay if you're not sure about somebody's um, gender. Um, by the way, B-Y-T-H-E-W-A-Y, comma, what's your name? W-H-A-T apostrophe S, your name, question mark, perfect. I go by Zeb online, said Zeb. Do you always use your real name on the internet? I do nowadays, Zeb. <laughs> Isn't that sad? Apart from here, I use your teacher. But that's, you know why that was. People got confused <laughs> about who and what I was on here because people pop in and out so much. So that's it for this week and until I come back in September. Um, I'm not sure what will happen in September, but I think I've got a sneaking suspicion I'll just start afresh the week after. OK, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I get back. And when I get back, I'm straight in at the dentist. So that will definitely play a role in what I do. But I hope you've enjoyed listening to this week's live chat. I hope you have fun. If anybody wants to try their hand at recording some corrections, have a go yourselves. I'm quite happy to um, post up whatever you whatever you come up with. You can get a Spreaker account. Uh, you don't have to do an hour. You can do 15 minutes if you want. <laughs> and I know I've told people this before. It's still true. Helping people with their English will also help you with yours. OK, so all you advanced learners like Zeb, try your hand at helping other people with their English. You'd be amazed how much you can learn doing that. And um, bye. I'll see you in a few weeks. Keep an eye on the calendar because there are some sessions that will run with other people. OK, and some student led sessions as well. So fingers crossed you're more than capable, guys, of um, dealing with English without my direct input. Bye.